Hi guys, welcome back to Create with Chidex. My name is Chidima and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I made a taco cake. So without wasting so much of your time, let's get started. I'll be starting first by molding some foil paper into the shape of a traditional Cornish pasty. I'll keep adding on more foil until I've gotten the size and shape that I want. When I've gotten the correct shape and size, I'll rub some vegetable fat all over the foil paper. I printed off some edible photos of some taco shell colored background and I'm going to cut 8 inch circles from these photos. The photos were printed on edible wafer paper. Next, using a soft brush, I coated the plain part of each of the papers. So I'm coating it with a mixture of water and a bit of glycerin. Then I'll stick them both together. I would also try as much as possible to remove any trapped air bubbles. Then I'll fold it over the foil paper that I prepared earlier and leave it aside to dry. I made two wafer paper taco shells and then went on to make the fillings. The first filling that I made was the lettuce, which I also made using edible wafer paper. So basically, I painted some scrap wafer paper that I had with a completely watered down edible green gel color. I will make sure that I completely saturate the wafer paper. I will also coat both the front and the back of this wafer paper with my mixture. Because lettuce slices are not usually flat, I crumpled up some foil paper. Then I'll place my painted wafer paper on top of the crumpled foil so that it won't dry flat. I made more wafer paper lettuce leaves then set them all aside to dry. Now for my cheese, I rolled out some orange colored modeling chocolate in between a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to roll it flat just like a slice of cheese. After rolling the orange modeling chocolate, I'll put it in the fridge until I'm ready to use it. I used rice crepes to make my minced beef. So using my hands, I'm going to crush it up just a little bit. I don't want to crush it to complete powder. To make my rice crepes the color of ground beef, I'll mix in some cocoa powder into a little buttercream that I've got here. And when I've achieved this brown color, I'll mix the buttercream with my rice crepes. To get it to mix up properly, I'll continue the mixing with my hands. And then when I'm done, I would set it aside. My wafer paper lettuce leaves had dried by this time, so I cut some of them into slices. After cutting the lettuce slices, I got the modeling chocolate cheese from the fridge and cut some of it into slices. Now that all my fillings are ready, I'll start carving my cake. I've got a piece of cake here that is shaped almost like a half moon. 
so I will slice it into two because I'm making two tacos then cut off a bit of cake at the bottom of each one I designed branded paper tray liners and printed them on edible wafer paper. You can spot the Chidex brand at the corner. <laughs> I'll stick them onto my board with buttercream to keep them in place. Now comes the exciting part, which is putting everything together and making the taco. So my taco shells had dried by this time, so I'll gently remove the foil paper. Then to start filling the shell, I'll apply a layer of brown butter cream inside it. Attach the cake. Then I'll apply another layer of butter cream all over the surface of the cake. Before putting my rice cripsy minced beef at the corners. Next I'll put in my wafer paper lettuce slices. And finally the cheese slices I'm gonna do the same for the second taco cake And there you go, our taco cake is ready. Now it's time to cut it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button. And leave your comments and ideas in the comment section below also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos I'll see you in my next video bye